الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى أزواجه وذريته كما صليت على آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى أزواجه وذريته كما باركت على آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد Going through the book Hisn uh, al-Muslim, the fortress of the Muslim, we reached the section on At-Tashahud. At-Tashahud, uh, the last section we did was Sujood At-Tilawa, Sujood At-Tilawa, the prostration for recitation. And we mentioned the dhikr that you say when you prostrate, سجد وجهي للذي خلقه وشق سمعه وبصره بحوله وقوته فتبارك الله أحسن الخالقين My face prostrated to the one who created it and made its hearing and its eyesight with his power and ability So blessed is Allah the best of the creation That is one ذكر you say The other ذكر you say is اللهم اكتب لي بها عندك أجرا O oh Allah write for me with it with that prostration that is write for me with it uh, or by it with you a reward وضع عني بها وزرا and uh, erase take off from me by it by that prostration a sin so you're asking that Allah will write for you a reward for that prostration, that he will remove a sin from you. وَاجْعَلْهَا لِي عِنْدَكَ ذُخْرًا And make it for me with you a treasure. Treasure it for me with you. That prostration for recitation. وَتَقَبَّلْهَا مِنِّي كَمَا تَقَبَّلْتَهَا مِنْ عَبْدِكَ دَاوُدْ And accept it from me like you have accepted it from your servant Dawood. Like you have accepted it from your servant Dawood. So either you memorize this one, most of us memorize the first one, or you memorize the second one, or you memorize both and you use both. And we mentioned the hadith for the second one that uh, a companion saw in his dream that uh, you know the the ayah for prostration were was recited and he saw that the tree in his dream the tree was prostrating and saying these words so he came to rasulullah and told him that and rasulullah used it in his prostration rasulullah used this dua in his prostration allahumma aktub li biha indaka ajra wa da' anni بها وزرا واجعلها لي عندك ذخرا وتقبلها مني كما تقبلتها من عبدك داود Now he goes on to mention التشهد التشهد that is when you say أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله This is التشهد You are witnessing You are testifying The testimony of faith Right So you are doing it while you are sitting in that uh, sitting. So it is called at tashahud because it is the uh, major part of that sitting is to say this, right? To say, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashadu anna Muhammadan abdu wa rasul. Now in at tashahud, you start by saying, At tahiyatu lillah, was salawatu wa tayyibat. السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله So this uh, is the wording that the Sheikh mentions It is in Bukhari and Muslim the narrator of this hadith is Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu an and at-tahiyyat is the plural of tahiyya now those who were attending al ajrumiyah with us tahiyyat is the plural of tahiyya hmm? tahiyyat tahiyyatun tahiyyat right so it is what kind of a plural is it a broken plural or is it what kind of a plural? Hmm? Feminine 
or masculine, sound or broken. Hmm? Is it tahiyatun tahiyat? This is sound, feminine, plural. Sound, feminine, plural. Okay? So it is the plural of tahiyya. Tahiyya means salam or greeting, peace. The uh, greeting in general. It is said that it is baqa, it is to remain, to stay. It is said that it is al-'adama, greatness. It is said that it is dominion, al-mulk, right? And the scholar uh, al-muhib al-tabari he said it could be this word tahiyya, tahiyya. It is a meaning that is inclusive of all of that, right? That includes all of these meanings: the greeting, the uh, staying, uh, the greatness, the dominion. At-tahiyyatu lillah. You are saying at tahiyat this word plural of tahiyya, all of them for Allah. They belong to Allah. At-tahiyyatu lillah. So what is it that uh, is for Allah? What is it that you are referring to Allah? You are saying that it is belonging to Allah. Al-Imam Al-Khattabi and Al-Baghawi rahimahum Allah, they said that what is meant by at-tahiyyatu lillah the different types of glorification belong to Allah meaning so you aggrandize Allah you glorify him subhanahu wa ta'ala you revere him all kinds of glorifications all kinds of greatness are referred to Allah they belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this is what you say when you say at tahiyyatu lillah all kinds of greatness and glorifications they belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was salawat as salawat is the plural of salah the salawat is the plural of salah some said the five daily prayers yani they are done for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or what is even more general than this al-fara'id wa nawafil yani what is obligatory and what is voluntary and it is said that all acts of worship yani by salawat here all acts of worship are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa salawat wa tayyibat wa tayyibat tayyibat again tayyibah tayyibat Right? يعني ألم ترى كيف ضرب الله مثلا كلمة طيبة الكلمة الطيبة لا إله إلا الله Right? And you have طيبات طيبات يحل لهم الطيبات ويحرم عليهم الخبائث Allowing for them what is good طيبات And prohibiting for them what is evil خبائث Right? What is filthy. Right? So the word tayyib, tayyibah, tayyibat, al-tayyib, al-tayyib is a name of al-tayyib. Is a name of Allah. Al-tayyib is one of the names of Allah. Al-tayyib. Right? So, al-tayyibat, uh, here, you are saying al-tahiyyatu. All kinds of greatness, yeah, any glorification. Lillah. Was salawat. All kinds of prayers, acts of worship. Tahiyyatu lillah was salawatu. What tayyibat? The good. At tayyibat. The good things. Right? Here the good words they said. Ma taba min al kalam. Whatever is, that is pure and good of the words, they are for Allah. Right? Yani something that is good you use to praise Allah with that is at tayyibat or uh, they said the righteous statements like dua supplication like thana praise and it is said al a'mal salih all righteous deeds are for Allah so this is even more general so greetings glorifications greatness and prayers acts of worship and all good 
words and actions, praises, they are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then, tahiyyatu lillah wa salawatu wa tayyibat. Assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabi. Assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabi. Assalam is safety and security, to be safe and secure, right? Assalam also is one of the names of Allah. And the meaning here, Assalamu alayka, ayyuhan nabi, meaning that he is free, he is safe and secure from every deficiency, from every flaw, right? every corruption. Hmm? Assalamu alayka, ayyuhan nabi. The meaning here is you are making dua, you are supplicating Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi meaning you are saying, salimta min al makarih meaning may you be safe and sound from all things of dislike assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabi it means may you be free safe from all kinds of evil things or things of dislike uh, there has come in the hadith of ibn mas'ud radiyallahu anhu uh, what uh, indicates that there is a difference between the time when he was alive alayhi salatu wassalam and the time when he passed away alayhi salatu wassalam and that is the statement of Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu he said we used to say that wa huwa bayna dhaharanayn this is in Bukhari while he was within us alayhi salatu wassalam assalamu alayka peace be upon you uh, like speaking to him in the second person. Assalamu alayka. Right? He said, Falamma qubida qulna assalamu ala nabi. When he was taken away, Ibn Mas'ud says, radiallahu anhu, when Rasulullah sallallahu passed away, we said, Assalamu ala nabi, not alayka. Assalamu ala, peace be on the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Al Hafiz ibn Hajar, he mentioned uh, that this is it, what appears from this narration is that this is what the companions used to do. They would say, Assalamu alayka, when he was alive. After his death, they used to say, Assalamu ala nabi. Right? And the Shaykh al Albani, uh, he mentioned something that is similar to this in his book Sifat Salat al-Nabi Sallallahu the description of the Prophet's uh, prayer alayhi as salatu was salam he mentioned this from Ibn Mas'ud and then he said that it is supported by what is narrated from Aisha radiallahu anha that she used to teach them a tashahud like that she would teach them to say assalamu ala nabi right now the other scholars they have a, a different position and they say you say assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam as he taught alayhi as salatu uh, was salam and there is a narration from umar ibn al khattab radiyallahu anhu that he used to give a speech on the member teaching the people how to say at tashahud and he will say to them he says to them qulu assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabi Peace be upon you, O Prophet. And this is a speech that he was giving in the masjid and the companions were listening to that and nobody uh, criticized it. So uh, this is the case and that has come from other companions also. So uh, this is what the explainer of the book chooses to say Assalamu Alaikum. Also, the author of Hisn al-Muslim, the Sheikh Saeed al-Qahtani, Hafizahullah, this is also his choice. And he says that we follow, basically, uh, this to say, Assalamu alayka, ayyuhan nabi. And then he quotes uh, from the Sheikh al uh, Abdullah al-Bassam, rahimahullah ta'ala. Uh, he says there that, he did not mean by this kaf in assalamu alayka he did not mean by it although it is used for the one you are speaking to and the one who is present right so if i'm talking to you uh, i say anta alayka right kaf this kaf is 
for the second person. The one you are speaking to and he's present with you. This is what the kaf means. So he says, uh, what is meant by it is not that you are speaking to someone and who is present with you, right? But what is meant by it, mujarrad as salam, just giving salam. That is what is meant by it. Uh, so he says, this is why it is said silently, you know, in the tashahud, you don't say assalamu alayka loudly. You are saying it silently anyways, <laughs> right? You're not yani, saying it aloud, right? And the Prophet وسلم, was specifically or especially given this type of uh, yani, address because of how strongly the one who is praying is calling to mind this greetings of peace that he is saying to the Prophet وسلم, as if uh, the one whom he is giving this greeting to is a present. Right? So, uh, this is from his great status, alayhi salatu wasalam, and this is part of his name being mentioned and being raised in mention. وَرَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكْ As in the Quran, we raised up your mention. Right? Part of that is when the Muslims are praying in the salah, they're uh, doing the tashahud, as if they are talking to him alayhi salatu wassalam assalamu alayka ayyuha an nabi so we have these two choices uh, I think mentioned before the choice of the Shaykh Abdul Muhsin al-Abbad hafizahullah he said if you use assalamu ala an nabi then this is correct and you have you know those companions using it and if you say assalamu alayka ayyuha an nabi then you are using what Umar ibn Khattab ta taught. So either this or that, or both of them are correct. Wa rahmatullah, the mercy of Allah. Assalamu alayka, ayyuha nabi. Wa rahmatullah, and the mercy of Allah. Wa barakatuhu, and his blessings. You have baraka and barakat. Barakatun and barakat. Barakat is what now? Plural, that is broken or sound. It is sound. It is masculine or feminine? <coughs> feminine, right? Barakat, the plural of barakatun. Barakatun, barakatun, right? So, inshallah, if we are doing Arabic, we have to, you know, use what we are. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, this information will, you know, just. Uh, vanish and evaporate, right? Taib. Then after that, uh, what, what is al-barakat? The blessings. He says, ziyadatuhu min kulli khair. The increase of every goodness. This is the baraka. Barakat. Right? The increase of every goodness. So you are asking for the Prophet Sallallahu the increase of every khair, every goodness, you are asking Allah to increase it for him. Then you say, Assalamu alayna. Now the greetings of peace be upon us. Right? Wa ala ibadillahi salihin. And upon the ibad servants of Allah who are righteous. Ibad. Hmm? Ibad and salihin salihin is a plural what kind of a plural the singular is salih salih is a name of one of the prophets right salih means pious righteous and salihin or salihun right that becomes a plural plural that is what sound or broken sound right and it is masculine or feminine. Hmm? What is the feminine? What is the singular? We have salihun, and the feminine singular is salihatun. Yes, salihatun. And the plural is 
الصالحات فالصالحات right فالصالحات قانتات so صالحات right طيب here وعلى عباد الله الصالحين so here السلام علينا generally even in your dua you make dua for yourself and then you make for others it is okay to make for them first and then you but then generally in your dua you make dua for yourself and then you include the others in that dua and this is what is done here assalamu alayna the greetings of peace be upon us and upon the righteous slave servants of Allah now as-salih the one who is salih righteous or pious is the one who establishes what is a must of the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the rights of the servants right and this salah righteousness uh, varies in degrees varies in levels and degrees it's not the same some people they are more he's more of a salih more of a righteous person than the other right so salah is darajat طيب uh, he quotes Al-Hakim uh, At-Tirmidhi Rahimahullah saying Man arada an yahva bihada as-salam Al-lazhi yusallimuhu al-khalqu fi as-salah Fal yakun abdan salihan Wa illa hurima hadha al-fadla al-azim He says that the one who wants to attain The one who wants to achieve This greeting This greeting of peace That the creation are sending in the salah Right? then let him be a righteous servant otherwise he will be deprived of this great bounty right so now many people are praying and in their salah every time they say assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillahi salihin if you are from the righteous servants of Allah you are included in this and all of those people who are praying in their salah Fard and nafil they are saying this. You are included in this. That is, if you are a righteous servant. But if you are not righteous, then <laughs> you're not included in this greetings of peace. So if you want to be included in this great dua that so many people are doing in their salah, then you be from the righteous uh, people. I think uh, we can... Uh, Stop here now, inshallah.